Hey, welcome! Today we're gonna review Racing Miku 2015 Talent version. As you can tell, we're already on 2018, but uh, well, whatever. This figurine was released on August 2017, and as you can see, even if I'm doing the unboxing on 2018, this figurine was uh, released about six months ago. So, the I don't know why, but the Miku figurines for the racing series they, they normally release them like one or two years if you're lucky enough so that's why every time I see a new racing Miku figurine I know that I'm only gonna be able to purchase them after one or two years so that's something usual for now at least for me now we are taking a really good look to around the box and as always we're gonna try to go and open the box from the bottom part this is always well this is something that I always do because normally it doesn't have any tape so if you want to use closet bag and put it back on the box, it's just going to look nice and you're not going to damage the tape on the top. I'm just going to read really quick about this figurine on the Good Smile Company webpage. But just so you know, I got this one from Amiami and I'm going to let you know the price and everything. The original illustration by Taiki and Shigeto Koyama is just wonderful. And this figurine is 1-8 scale. And this figurine is being manufactured by Freen. I have seen a lot of good figurines from these manufacturers, so if you see this name, it's really good quality. Um, the price before taxes, the original price at the time of release or pre order was 11,852 yen before taxes. That means this figurine is around $100 plus shipping and taxes is around $125. I believe it, it, it is worth. If you can get it used or with a discount at this time, go for it. Especially if you're a fan of Hatsune Miku. This figurine is made of PVC as basically the standard of all the figurines right now. Including the stand is approximately 250 millimeter height. In inches that's going to be approximately 9.8 inches almost 10 inches as we can appreciate uh, the packaging is nothing special it's pretty standard it has the base it has the little thing that go on the base yes this is a professional unboxing and well yeah we can check also this plastic that goes all over the hair the legs and anything that can stain by making contact with itself i have to say that that's a pretty good touch from them nobody wants to unbox a brand new figurine and just to check the it is stain you're paying a lot of money to receive a damage or you know stained figurine these things aren't cheap Right now this figurine is available at amiami.com You just basically type Resident Miku 2015 talent version And you're gonna find it It's available and it's for 11,490 gens That's actually cheaper from when they released this figurine or when you were able to pre-order I think this is the only Hatsune Miku figurine that it's basically younger than normally appears on all the other figurines. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. I don't know if there is actually like a lowlier version of this. this. I think this is the youngest one. The Hatsune Miku Racing Figurine series has been around since 2010. I think, I don't know, you better google that. And actually the team Good Smile Racing has won a few cups. As far as I know, you can also check that online. You can also support them with personal sponsorship. They have different tiers for rewards. So depending on how much money you are giving to them is depending on the reward. So you, you can check that and you can decide if you want to support. And there's actually a few figurines or probably just some fake masks that are exclusive for the sponsorship. So there's no other way to get them unless you are a personal sponsor. The details on these figurines is actually pretty pretty cool. It's simple. It doesn't have a lot of clothes. I think there are a lot of fans that are gonna be happy with this. The skirt is actually flexible, it's not um, cast off, you cannot take it off. 
but you can definitely move it and this might be a problem in the future because if you live in a really hot area or overall with time that that piece of plastic is gonna start to melt or dropping down and it's not gonna look natural well it is not like a lot of people actually are dressed like that but that's part of the design the high heels has a lot of detail I'm very surprised about this but that's not all for example on the high heel size Krypton media and on the arms you can check that okay now we can check it says good smile racing on the left arm and also it's on the right side of the arm you can actually check that this figurine is very detailed even if it doesn't have a lot of clothes but you can check the bone structure through the skin and that's pretty awesome also I think the hair looks really nice but this might be a problem in the future you know with the heat or whatever it can get stuck with the other figurine also the aqua hair it's slightly more blue it's not that aqua I'm having some troubles trying to focus her hair but you can get an idea overall of the color and if you put it side by side with another Miku you can check that her hair is actually a little bit more bluer than aqua she has this little crown in her head it's really lovely to be honest the brights around the twin tails remind me to the new hairstyle that it's going to come on 2018 for the hair seeker figurine that figurine is also on its way so stay tuned I'm gonna review that one and a lot more of figurines so just follow me and thanks for subscribing in advance and maybe a like I don't know well there you have it I believe this figurine is worth every single penny and even if it's really simple I think it's gonna bright any room or any figurine display personally I think I'm gonna qualify her as an 8 I believe an 8 is fair enough for top quality for the money that you're paying so basically that's it if you're a fan of Hatsune Miku obviously you need to have this one and if you have been purchasing or getting the Hatsune Miku racing series you cannot miss this one obviously at last we're gonna place the figurine on the base as you can tell you need to be really careful because it has a really specific angle to insert so you can appreciate here how I'm trying hard and it goes in really well so you need to click on it and there we go we are sure that this is stable and now it's ready for the display but before that I'm just gonna do some beauty shots well guys, if you want to know more about this figurine or if you want to do a close-up or if you have any question about this figurine, just let me know on the, on the comments, please. I try to answer every single comment. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. But for now, uh, please subscribe. Let me know if you like the channel. Uh, please stay tuned for more.